hello guys welcome to the channel today we are talking about the psl chairman also the orlando pirates chairman dr ivan koza and we're gonna talk about also the former orlando pirates coach augusto palacios who touches on the issue of uh, dr ivan koza potentially stepping down as the psl chairman and he's talking about how devoted the the chairman has been in the psl how important he has you know been in south african football and he's asking the question if vele vele dr ivan kosa is not going to enter for the elections in november uh, for being the psl chairman or for the chairmanship then who is it that will step on his shoes that is what Ocasto palacios is asking he says guti his passion for football cannot be compared Dr. Ivan Kosa and Keza Mutawung are the two people who are guiding the country when it comes to football. But the chairman, he has made an impact in, you know, revolutionizing the league. All the clubs were struggling in the financial aspects. His interest has always been the PSL. To him, it did not matter if he was a chairman of Orlando Pirates. He was the chief of, you know, security for South Africa in 1998 FIFA World in the 1998 FIFA World Cup in France. He was also the chairman of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, which was in South Africa. He was recognized by FIFA. I have known him since 1995, and from 1996 I was at Pirates. Remember, we had clubs who owed money to players look at how he is currently helping the nfd with the Mutsipe foundation sponsorship which sponsors would be attracted to our clubs if he was not in the leadership he never took any advantage of the sponsors and he only wanted them to benefit uh you know he never took advantage of the sponsors and only wanted them to benefit orlando pirates he never did that you know he wanted the sponsors to grow football as a whole not just orlando pirates for example the culling cup was only contested by Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, but now it is open to all the teams. That alone shows you that he's not selfish. He looks at, uh, you know, he looks after football in the country. And remember that he was once the vice president of SAFA. Only if SAFA and the PSL can work together, we will be the best country in Africa when it comes to football. But if he steps down, who is it that is going to replace him, you know, with his caliber and experience? Where are the sponsors going to get someone with the experience that he has? That is my only concern. As a sponsor, you need someone experienced that will guarantee you that everything will be running smoothly. You get the point that Augusto Palacios is coming with. He goes further to say, Guti, the running of the PSL is not a piece of cake. It's a huge responsibility and you need to make it attractive. Look at the DSTV Disky Challenge. How many clubs have traveled overseas as champions? You know, for me, the age does not count. He is 76, but that counts for nothing. In the PSL and in the, you know, in the Premier League, you still have 75 year olds who are still working as coaches, right? The coach of Bafana Bafana, Hugo Bruce, is almost 70, but his energy is fantastic. And Dr. Ivan Koza, he's very healthy. He's not drinking. He's not smoking. I know him very well, eating healthy food. I've worked with him for almost 27 years. He can remain in football for 10 more years and his children are doing very well. Nkosana is doing well at Pirates and he's always been guiding him. People think that Nkosana only came to football now and no, that's not the case. So this for me is surprising news and I want him to continue for another 10 years. Now that was a bit lengthy of a video it was a bit long but you get what uh, augusto palosius is talking about and what he's worried about and it makes sense you know um yeah it remains to be seen if dr ivan kosa is really going to step down he's not going to enter for the championship in november and if that happens mm, i don't know what this means for our football i don't know if the sponsors are, are still gonna have that trust you know to continue with whoever that will be selected and not drop out you know uh i it, it remains to be seen guys with what's gonna happen but yes dr ivan koza has been amazing for south african football is it time for change sometimes change is good and sometimes change is bad you know and unfortunately no one has all the experience that dr ivan koza has so it, it remains to be seen what will happen and anyway if we're being honest dr ivan koza cannot be there forever 
So at some point, we will need to get someone else that will be able, you know, to take over. But is it the right time now for that to happen? That's the question. Please, let's engage in the comment section.